All right, still working our way through Dragons of Autumn Twilight. We got to chapter 10 and 11. <clears throat> this is where we get to Darkenwood, right? You got all the dead walk in the earth and will we survive, will we not? Um, Rasslin gives these sort of broad strokes of dude, don't eat anything, don't look at anything, don't drink anything, don't kill anything, just just stay on the trail and follow me and shush, right? So as they're going through Darkenwood, it's sort of like, you know, they don't necessarily believe the maze all that much because uh, when they first started down the path, they didn't really see anything crazy, right? So it kind of was still daytime. They're just walking along for a couple hours. And all of a sudden, night hits. I'm like, hey, let's camp. Let's get off the trail. Of course, here comes the mage going, nope, yep, yep, stay where you are. Don't get off the trail. Don't go over to that neat little clearing with the river and start drinking water. Don't touch it, right? We're in Darkenwood. We're the dead walk here. Everybody rests for a minute. Next thing you know, they look in the woods, and here's all these undead warriors looking at them with ancient armor and ancient weapons and sort of these ethereal these ethereal glows that that uh, aren't necessarily uh human right they used to be but they're not anymore they're they're, they're now sort of these these undead zombie like things um and all of a sudden we start to notice things are wrong like tanis is elven vision like it sort of looks like heat heat uh, uh, thermal vision does for for military folks right so uh he can normally see sort of a red outline of where uh, a living being is but now even if he looks at his friends he can't see that so you've got things that are not working right because you're in darkened um and uh, uh this is where of course our mage comes back in and says oh well okay we got to go talk to the, the dead people who aren't necessarily you know coming to kill us which he thought they would they would come to, to cap them off right away uh but it didn't so he he casts a spell and they can communicate and they realize they've been called uh summoned as it were uh, to go talk to somebody in, in the middle of, in the very center of Darkened Wood, which leads us to the Forest Master, right? So <clears throat> the Forest, what's the Forest Master? Well, it turns out the Forest Master is a unicorn, um, and the unicorn can speak uh, the common tongue. Uh, unicorn looks at him and goes, okay, all kinds of crazy stuff going on in the world. We've got these lizard creatures, which we now learn are, are called draconians, uh, and they belong to the Order of Draco. Sound familiar, right? Kind of dragon-like. Um, and uh, uh, there's this everything about the blue crystal staff. The the forest master seems to know a lot about that. And says, "Hey, look, you know, you got to go over here to this place called uh, Zach Tazareth, which I'm probably pronouncing wrong, and that's okay. I'm allowed to do that. Um, but uh, you got to get there, you know, in two days. And of course, it's incredibly distant, so they they, they can't do that. So they go, well, you're gonna have to fly. How are you gonna fly? There's no airplanes, right? You just just cast them. Right? Nobody has wings, right? Except the dragons and draconians. How are we gonna get there? Well, that's left for the next chapter, but like our, our, our group of, of traveling companions survives Darkenwood, supposedly, or theoretically. We'll find out in the next chapter. Uh, and they're being sent off someplace else. So apparently the, the gamble worked off, worked out. You know, they're, they're going to be able to get to their, their next destination. We'll see how it goes. By the way, this month's uh, T-shirt addition to the collection is uh, rolled a number one at the bottom. It says, uh, I tried. Uh, if you play the game, you'll, you'll get that. Uh, anyway, I hope everybody having a great week. Uh, still enjoying the thrill ride that is this book, Dragons of Autumn Twilight, the first in the Chronicle series. I'm going to keep plowing through it. We're going to go through the whole series uh, and uh, see where it takes us next. Have a great uh, – enjoy the book, everybody, and uh, check out the One for All social media management system, a fantastic system. I use it every day. Uh, it uh, uh, will really save you a ton of time and uh, keeping all your different platforms straight.